Oh boy. Okay. I don't know how you guys talked me into this. Okay. Loud. We haven't even gotten to the scary parts yet. It's not good when the title screen, when the titles are scary. Okay. Hi, everybody. This is Angel Arts. And welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Let me start by saying if you have never seen a Let's Play of mine before, if this is your first time with my channel, I highly, 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 highly recommend that you take a look at the introduction to my channel video. It's not incredibly long. The only reason why I tell people to do that if they're new to my channel is because um, I cater to a very specific type of audience. I have a little bit of a niche audience, I guess. And my, oh, that's creepy. My style of Let's Playing is, um, is a little unique. So I wanted to make sure that everyone who's coming to see one of my videos for the first time knows exactly what they are getting themselves into, knows what to expect. And so that my, my intro to my channel kind of goes over the main things that you should know about me as a Let's Player, so you can decide for yourselves if I am a good fit for you. Because the last thing I want to do is to waste anybody's time, and th I'm sure that there are plenty of existing Let's Plays of this game already out there, because the game has been out for about two years, I, I'm almost two years. So I want to make sure that uh, if you want to join me, I want to make sure that you join me because we're actually a good fit. So, you know, take some time and come back. And if you still like what you what you see in the introduction, then I would love to have you join me on this Maker Forsaken journey. So let me start by saying that, uh, first of all, this is a blind Let's Play. And I did not think that I would be Let's Playing this game or any game like this I shouldn't say any game like this, because there is one major thing about this game, and that's the reason why I'm playing it. Um, I don't like scary games, I don't like scary movies, I don't like scary anything. It's not... A, a lot of um, very popular Let's play, Plays of the, out there are out there for Let's Plays of scary games. For those of you who like are, are like, wait, is this guy going to be talking for a while? Uh, yes, I am. And you would know that if uh, you went to my introduction to my channel. So if you don't like people talking or analyzing about what they're about to play or, or what they're playing, I'm not a good fit for you. So I'm just going put it, to put it right out there. Um, I have a little bit of an introduction. I have a little... Because there's a lot of things I want to say about this game before I, before I start. So I don't like, I don't like scary things. Um... There's a lot of games out there that are very popular Let's Plays of games that are very scary. Um, Until Dawn, of course, is one of them. Five Nights at Freddy and all of its multiple sequels are is another incredibly popular one. You know, um, there, there's tons and tons of games that that so many Let's Players um, are famed for because of the scary content. And I'm not the kind of Let's Player who plays a game because it's popular. I don't play games because it's going to get me more subscribers. That's not how I operate. I play games because I genuinely enjoy them. And scary, really scary games, I, I genuinely do not enjoy it. The only game that I have Let's Played that is what was a legitimately scary game was, um, was Slender. And I do have a Let's Play of Slender, and I... It's ridiculously embarrassing. Many of you thought it was hilarious, but it was ridiculously hilarious, embarrassing. I'm glad that I was able to entertain you guys for like the eight minutes that I was playing the game, because that's how long I lasted. But I can't say that I had a genuinely good time. And that's why I don't really play scary games, because I, as entertaining and I, as awesome I'm sure it is for you guys to watch me get terrified out of my wits, it's not fun for me. Um, I do, however enjoy scary movies, movies in this horror or suspense genre, if they actually have a good story. If they actually, I like the sense of mystery, you know, and trying to figure out, you know, what's going on. Sixth Sense doesn't really count, because I don't think Sixth Sense really counts as a, as a 
scary movie. It's more of a suspenseful movie. Um, Saw is another one. I, I know that's a big part about Saw is like all the gore. But at least for the first few Saw movies, I really like dug the story. It was very deep, character driven, especially the first one was really character driven. It was a really deep story in my opinion. Well, deeper than your typical scary movie flick. And that's why I enjoy those types of games. And I'm huge on story, and I'm definitely huge on character development and growing attachment to characters. And Until Dawn is a game that, if you take away the scary elements of it, seems so right up my alley, because there's like, there's, you, there's multiple endings, I know you get to play as different characters, and each of the characters, you know, could live or die depending on your choices, and maybe you'll get attached to your character, to the characters. In this case, it's probably dangerous for me because if any character can like die at any point, like that's that's terrifying for me. It's very similar to like uh, Heavy Rain, which is one of my favorite games of all time. So <sighs> Until Dawn was one of those titles where I was so torn because I was like, Ugh, I want to play this game because of the story element. Because there's so many elements of this game that I figured was so fitting for me. But it's a scary game. Now, hopefully, though, this is not as bad as I as maybe I might be having be formulating in my head because it sounds like it's it's sort of like a um, based off of the slasher, the '80s and '90s slasher films, which are the films that I grew up with. Um, I really enjoyed Scream because, again, that was a scary movie that had a really cool story that sort of poked fun. It was a love letter to the 80s and 90s slasher flicks, um, it poked fun at it. And, you know, it was, you know, it broke the third wall. It was very aware of itself. And I found that really interesting. So maybe if I can approach this game until dawn, to see it less of a, like, this is thing is going to terrify me out of my wits and, and just appreciate it, focus more on the characters and focus more on the story as much as possible and just see it as a 90s flick that I did enjoy for their story. Um, I hopefully will be okay, because I would hate to start this Let's Play and stop because I just couldn't, I can't get through it. I'm hoping that this will be, this will be the case. So, um, I know a lot of you are probably disappointed that I'm not playing this game properly, and by properly I mean in a dark, in a dark, dark lit room. Um, everything around me is bright. That's only because I want to make sure I can finish this Let's Play. I figure you would probably prefer that I f finish this. So this is the kind of things I have to do in order for me to be able to give me the best chance of actually completing this Let's Play. You know, otherwise what good is it for me to play this properly with all the lights off if I'm not going to finish it? So, new story. Okay. The butterfly effect. Is this like Life is Strange? A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. That's like, I don't want to give anything away, but okay. So I guess this is basically saying that choices that you make before end up changing how things progress. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Okay, see, these are the kind of elements that I like. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. I do like this, like, heavy rain kind of idea where even if a character dies, the game still keeps going. It doesn't take you to a game over screen and you just continue. It just keeps going. Your story is one of many possibilities. I'm not promising right off the bat that this can, I'm going to end up with a perfect ending. Choose your actions carefully, because this is blind. I just hope that I don't get too attached to these kids, because I'm going to be upset, man, when, when they die, if I get attached to any of them. All right, so you got your slasher film camp thing and we've got of course this is very friday the 13th you know and it's cold winter has come see this is my mech this is my mechanism for for to cope my coping mechanism oh there's a slasher guy there's five of us Deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Which one's Mike? Is it the hot guy over there? I'm just looking out for my girl, 
Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. I am. Okay, that is my anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Okay, so far so good, right guys? Right? So far so good, yes? Okay. Breathe, Angel Arts, breathe, Hannah! it's fine. Okay. <laughs> Hannah. Hannah's there. <laughs> She's here. Shh, shh. Mike. She's cute. Hannah's cute. I like her look. She's very pretty. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Okay. So... These kids are in the in this cabin in winter. There's a random dude with a machete outside and it Hey, okay. Did you see that? Josh. Okay, so we actually get to move around now. Um Okay. It's all right. We're just here in a really creepy kitchen with, you know, very dimly lit with two boys sleeping, which might as well just be two corpses, but, you know, what's this? Press and hold R2 to pick up the note. Hold R2 and use the right stick to inspect objects. Hannah, you look so hot in that shirt, but I bet you you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Winky face, Mike, XXX. Well, I mean... Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Intervention time. Yeah, if your sister's about to get herself into that. One major rule for anyone who's ever paid attention to any of these slasher films is if you lose your virginity... You're going to die. <laughs> Scream made very clear about that rule. So we should probably stop our sister from doing that. This is a creepy place. I don't know why I'm playing this game. <laughs> Something's going to jump out at me. Oh, okay. So, oh gosh. I don't know if I want... Okay. All right. I'm fine. Angel Arts, you're... Oh, gosh. Even the tutorials are scaring me. Like, I haven't even... <laughs> when the tutorials are making me jump, you know it's bad. See, what I like is that this is very much... The camera is just like uh, in Resident Evil. Again, one of the... One of my... Probably my favorite scary game series that I actually do play. And because of the story. Is that the camera... It's very much like the early um, Resident Evils where the camera is set until you walk a certain distance and then the camera will shift. And it's frozen in place as opposed to the most recent Resident Evils where it follows around behind your character, which is more, you know, I guess it's... I don't find that as scary though because the, the, when you have these set angles, it's easier to scare the, the, the player because you don't know what's next you don't know what's what what what's just on the other side until it switches over and that's how they get you like that like i don't want to i don't want to go through there oh my gosh this is such a creepy place can i not can i can i just why can't this place be filled with puppies and bunny rabbits and unicorns and rainbows this it, this thing here is so resident evil right now is there like a hidden key do I have a puzzle that I have to manipulate and that, that the little key, the little plate thing up there on the mantle is going to slide open and then a key with like a club symbol or a heart symbol or some suit from, okay, windows, stay away from the windows because I don't want anything shattering through there. Oh my gosh. I think what I'm going to, how I'm going to play this is I'm trying to be this like disembodied spirit that's going to try its best to keep these kids safe as much as possible. Probably gonna fail miserably though, but I'm gonna try. Maybe I'll maybe I'll put a little bit more effort on the kids that I actually really like. Uh, of course it's locked. Of course it's locked. 
I mean, yeah, why, why wouldn't it be locked? Okay. Um, what's over here? Oh, that was the note. Yeah, we already, we already read the note. I like how you can flip it around and... Okay. Yeah, I already, I already knew about that. We're good, we're good. Let's, we're trying to intervene. I've got your note. Glad you can make it. I mean, I, I mean, he is hot, so... Uh, although that grin is very, it was a little cringy, but... You know, making out, and see where it goes from there. Don't do it! You're gonna die! Don't do it! No! No, you're making a mistake! She's got a butterfly on her on her shoulder. Did you notice that? Oh. Okay. That's not cool. Oh my. Okay. You guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah. Oh. Use the right stick to choose. Wake Josh or find the others. Wake Josh or find the others. I mean, I want to involve as many people as possible in the search, so I guess finding the others makes sense. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We just messed around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Press the correct action button before the timer oh, runs shit. out. Oh, 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 quick time, quick time, quick time. Okay, okay, we can do this. Telltale Games has helped me out. Fast or safe? I mean, I'd like to believe, even with Hannah being upset, I'd like to believe that she would try to not... I would believe she tried to take the safer path. So I'm gonna hope that she took the safer path, because she seemed like a smart enough girl, manipulated, easily manipulated by a, by a really hot and sexy boy. I mean, who would do that? Who would be completely, who would, who in the world would go gaga over, over something like that? Mm-hmm. Um, we're gonna go safe and hopefully that's the way that Hannah actually went. Cause I feel like she would be safe, even though she's upset. Maybe? I hope so. At least I hope, yeah, I mean, I, I, mean, I hope so. Okay, oh my goodness. Follow the noise or follow the footprints? I mean, the noise could be anything. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be Hannah. I mean, the noise could be... It could be Hannah. It could be, like, a raccoon. It could be some really crazy guy with a machete and a hockey mask. Following the footprints, especially with the snow being so fresh, like, I'd like to think that we'd, we, would, we would assume that we're the only ones here at this lovely winter getaway. So if anyone's, these footprints are clearly fresh. So I think it's safe to assume, maybe not safe, that this would be Hannah's and not some other person's. It may, would make more sense for this to be Hannah. So I guess I'm gonna follow the footprints because the, because the noise could be a red herring. Oh, what do we have here? So you're not Hannah. Okay, okay, good. I was afraid that the they would attack them. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? What is this? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Use the touchpad as shown. Oh, cool. It's 2.05 in the morning? Status update. Yeah. How do I run? You can direct the light using the right. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I'm gonna save you, Hannah. Totally gonna save you. 
I'm totally not gonna get myself killed either doing it. Nope, nope, nope. I'm gonna okay, 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 oh okay. It's okay. Uh L1 and walk faster, yeah, faster. Faster is a good idea. Let's walk faster. Okay. Okay. Alright. Angel Arts, you're fine. What the heck is that? What is this? Is this like a survivor totem? Is this like, you know, in order for me to not get voted off of the island, if it, like, does this save me from death? Oh. What was that? Death totem R1? What is that? Totem prophecies. Black, death, the, poss the possible death of the person who finds it. Indi indigenous tribes believe that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. Death, guidance, loss, danger, fortune. Play. What the heck? Okay, that's creepy. This is really cool, though. Totem, one of six. There's six death totems. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh. There's things like this that makes it, again, things like this, like, it's really, really intriguing. It's really amusing. I'm really sucked in right now at, like, the, how this game works. Death, guidance, loss, dan danger, fortune. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. That's this thing, events of the past. So it looked like that if she fell. It looks like she fell on something. So I have to avoid doing something that, I have to avoid falling somehow is the clue? The clue to, it's helping you survive this that's pretty that's a pretty cool thing i like that that gives you at least a chance to survive things oh boy do i unlock totems by not letting their deaths like come to fruition death guidance loss danger and fortune it's interesting butterfly effect any of your business Rats with bushy tails. So these are all things that could happen in the game that can affect other things. Any of your business. Like, it's not any of my business. Rats with bushy tails. So are, are these things that we want to avoid? Or, like, actually pursue? Do we want to avoid these things or pursue them? Rats with bushy tails. The soul of discretion. Whose side are you on? Be a hero. Something for later to the rescue and which one will die at what price man's best friend on the same page run or hide in self-defense who gets the gun save yourself forewarned is forearmed stick together point blank once bitten left behind important discovery the result of chaos Beth Oh, this is so cool. Character traits. Oh, this is so cool. I get to define what my character is like based on my choices. And it even shows like my relationship status is like my approval rate. This is really cool. These are parts of this game that I find awesome, which is why, again, why I feel like this is a good, great game for me. I'm just like, I'm just getting through it. So Beth is honest. She's charitable. She's funny, a little funny. Not as brave on average. She's a romantic and she's curious. Current objective is to find Hannah. Relationship status. So she's, of course, very close to Hannah. Also semi-close to Josh, too, which is why it was it said to wake up Josh versus waking up the others. I chose to wake up others because I figured getting more people involved would probably be better. Like help with the help with finding help with finding my sister if I get everybody else involved. Sam, then Jess, then Chris, and then I don't really know Ashley, Emily, Matt, and Mike as well, or at least I'm not as good as good with them. Character info. The twins. Clue. 
Zero of Twenty Clues, 1952, The Mystery Man. So I have to really be searching around and not miss anything. All right. Too bad I can't see the permission again. It looks like she fell on something. That's what it looked like. So I guess we're gonna find out if she's gonna stay alive or not. I have a feeling she's not gonna be killed by like the guy with the machete yet. It's gonna be killed by some other, like a bear or something. So she has to stay away from something. So the premonitions might give us a clue as to how to serve. Oh my goodness. Why is there fire there? I don't know if... We're not investigating that. protect my sister we're gonna have to protect our sister whatever happens if I have to sacrifice myself for my sister oh my goodness oh this is where we're gonna fall to our death Is this how- did I already die? Oh my gosh. Hold on. I mean... Hold on. I have- Oh my gosh. Let go. I'm not gonna drop my sister. Yeah. I'm not gonna drop my- I wasn't gonna drop my sister. Alright, so we both died. Okay, so... They are- yeah. Such an amazing job. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. I know that voice. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Okay, Dr. Every Hill. single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Great. Okay. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. Okay. And I want to help you see it through. The animation in this is great, by the way. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Huh. <laughs> Thank you for the vote of confidence. All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up cards? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. It's super cool that you don't know who this person is that he's talking to. Oh, and you even have the gloved hand. So, like, is this person that he ends up talking to going to be one of the... Is, is, is this going to be like one of the, the last surviving character, whoever happens to be the last surviving one? I'm wondering if that's what the reveal is. Or is this the killer? Is this the machete killer? We're going to see. Scarecrow. Okay. Scarecrow is kind of disturbing. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. It's made. It's scary. I feel uneasy. It makes me happy. 